Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda from Southern Twist Yarns, and I am sitting in the shop. It's about 20 minutes before the shop opens, so I thought I'd just come on and say hello and kind of talk to you about what's happening in the shop and to just kind of touch base and see how everybody is doing. It's been a while. As you notice, I'm here by myself today. EB is um, out traveling and it's Lynn's day off. So you're kind of stuck with me. Um, so one of the things I wanted to talk to you about and see if you all have the same issue I have, and it's called cast on -itis. I am really suffering from cast on -itis right now. We have so much um, going on and yarn in the store that I've been looking at forever and I have all these projects that I'm working on and I just kind of wanted to share with you a little bit um, and tell me how many items do you have cast on for real I mean don't don't sugarcoat it so I'm just gonna kind of show you um, I have here it's kind of backwards my uh, shawlography still on my needles had to put that away because of Christmas knitting but eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this so that's one project I also have a little poncho that I'm working on this is um, a knit along for the shop this is um, again another one of those that a little by little I'm getting there I'm getting there um, and I have this uh, where is it a sweater so I am sorry, I have to dig around here, down here to get all this stuff. So this is a little sweater that I'm doing with Life in the Long Grass. And I'm going to talk about Life in the Long Grass in just a few minutes. But so here's a sweater, right, that I'm doing. You can see I've got a long way to go on that one. So that's not going to be quick. Um, I also have started another shawl that I'm really excited about. And it is called On the Road. And it is, the pattern is by Woolenberry, and it is this gorgeous, sorry, it's kind of a, all wonky here. It's a little shawl called, well, I told you, called On the Road. And what I love about this shawl is this is some using some yarn that I haven't really had a chance to knit with a lot, and we've put together some kits for you. I think you're going to love it. It's really um, it's kind of simple. There's not, you know, a lot to it. I'm probably about halfway done and I just started it over the weekend. So it is done with Fliss and with Nuble. Um, and you know, we've had both of these yarns in the shop for quite a while, but we have put together some kits for you. Lynn had um, curated some kits and these are some that I, so this is the Fliss. Fliss is, um, I can never remember, 65% silk and 35% linen. It is lovely, lovely, lovely. You've seen it. EB's done some projects on it. It's great. But we're pairing it with this Nuble. And Nuble is a single ply. Don't be afraid. It's single ply, but it is gorgeous. A single ply yarn, um, merino, wool, and silk. So these two go together so beautifully. So these are just some of, the, some of the things, the colors that I picked. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, for you, those of you that love the fall colors, I'm very partial to blue, as you can tell. Anybody that knows me know I like blue. But here I even put this together. This is the Fliss with this really pretty um, fingering white cotton yarn, which I think would make a beautiful shawl this on the road. Also, um, if you want to be a little more daring. So we have both of these products in the shop. They are wonderful to work with. They are perfect for those of us that live in um, warmer climates because, you know, we can't wear our heavy wools, although our weather's changing and we're kind of excited because we're going to be able to do that. So again, the pattern is called On the Road. It is by Wool and Berry. Um, and it is fabulous. Cute little pattern. I can't wait to finish this. It is going to be absolutely perfect for our weather down here. So these are my colors, which are kind of a turquoisey blue and a silver, a blue with some silver in it. I love this yarn. I can't, I can't stop knitting with it. It's just, I've used it several, several times. So I hope you'll take um, some time to look at that. I'm also going to get ready to cast on another project really soon. Um, 
and you heard us talk about this broadleaf. We kind of did this as a knit along and we couldn't quite get people excited about it. Broadleaf is a beautiful um, brioche sweater and you know I had started mine and I chose my colors and I struggled with it and I didn't really love it so I am changing a little bit and I am doing mine um, in this beautiful beautiful sport weight. Look at that. This is life in the long grass and this is some um, stuff I had in my stash but this is absolutely fabulous yarn. This will be my third time knitting with life in the long grass and speaking of life in the long grass we just got in. We've been waiting for these forever and ever and um, through no fault of anyone's other than can we dare say COVID, we finally got in our books and I these are gorgeous. They came in yesterday. We opened the box and there were a couple of people in the shop and we started looking through them. The photography is fabulous. I'm going to just see if I can show you um, some of the Oops, I'm gonna, some of the projects in here are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful photography. They talk about the area. By the way, they're in Cork, um, Ireland. So they talk about the, the area. And all of the patterns are free in here when you purchase the book. We'll have these for sale in the shop. There are even recipes in here. So, I mean, they, they this is a fabulous book and very well worth waiting for. So I hope you'll check them out. Um, they're not on our website yet. I will be putting them on the website. We do have limited copies because they come from Ireland and with all of the the delays and all of the issues with shipping, I can't be sure when we'll get them. But we do have um, four ish. I think we have all four issues. Yes, we do. We have all four issues in there. I don't know if they've come out with their fifth yet, but Please, if you're in the shop, stop in and take a look at these books. They are absolutely gorgeous. So the other thing, and if you got my email yesterday, you know that we're doing a year-long cal. And for our year-long cal, we chose to do a blanket, um, a Stephen West blanket, which if you saw the email, you know I love Stephen West. And we, um, here at the shop, a lot of us like to do his things. So I, we are getting our cast ons ready and we are supposed to start casting on on February 1st. Well, I couldn't wait and I just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing. My uh, blanket of choice is the Old Forge. So here's a copy of the pattern. It's a circular blanket with, you know, the sun kind of in the center, which, you know, as I said in the newsletter, the sun is our is our life force. So I thought this was very appropriate. Um, plus, I live in a sunny climate. And I started casting mine on. I'm just going to show you my little ball. This is um, for my blanket. It's beautiful. This yarn is from Hot Springs um, Fiber Company in Arkansas. And Tracy uh, has been in our shop and, and done a trunk show with us. But I started the center of my blanket, and I, I couldn't be more happy. Um, so I know I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because we're not really supposed to cast on until February 1st, but I wanted to give it a try. So a lot of people said, you know, why a blanket? Well, because it's a year long cal and the last time we did a year long cal we did a shawl and people were finished in a couple of months so that kind of defeats the purpose of a year long cal and so i'm really excited about doing this we um gave you four different blankets to choose from you can go on our website and read about those um people also asked me why we chose stephen west well you know i love his designs you can count on them they are always written well um and I like him and I own the shop so I get to choose what I want. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you'll join us for us. There's still plenty of time to join that. You can find out more information on the website. Um, come on in and take a look. Our sale is still going on. So we have a clearance sale. We'll be putting some things periodically. We find, you know, a skein or two that didn't hasn't sold or maybe it wasn't the right color or just one extra one and we throw it on the pile so even though the sale is continuing and you've been in don't be afraid there may still be some things you didn't know that you needed 
So I hope that you'll uh, take a look at the website. We have classes coming up. We'll be switching over into our February classes very soon. We um, are planning our year. We've got a lot of uh, exciting things coming for you. I think that you'll be pleased. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you all later. Please um, let me know about those work in progress. I'm always interested in who's got what. Bye, everyone. See you later.